A trial came to a sudden stop today. Jose Ruiz has been on trial this week for the death of five year old Mercedes Lasoya. However, things this morning came to a halt because of one of the defense attorneys needed medical attention. Our Erica Hernandez is joining us live now outside the courtroom. So first off, Erica, how is that defense attorney doing? Yeah, David, Teresa Conley seems to be doing OK. She was talking as she was taken out by EMS and being told for precautionary reasons they wanted to get her checked out. Now, this all happening right as the chief medical examiner was on the stand. Dr. Kimberly Molina was describing the injuries all over five-year-old Mercedes Losoya. She described how the extensive trauma all over her body caused her muscles to break down, which resulted in kidney and heart failure. Mercedes also had a fracture in her spine. Dr. Molina says it could be from overextension of the back. Overall, Mercedes suffered from so much injury to her body and overexertion that it did lead to her death. Now, just a little while ago, the trial did resume with co-counsel cross-examining Dr. Molina. As that was done, then the jury was called out for the day. So we are done for today. This is what I'm being told. This is the state's last witness, so they will be resting. So we will resume on Monday morning and see what the defense has in store, David. Erica, let's talk about that jury for just a second. You've been in the courtroom all week long. What is the reaction has been through this emotional testimony with with not only testimony, but also some of the evidence that has been presented? You could tell that it has been very difficult. There are times that you see them just crying and, and grabbing tissues, especially yesterday. Yesterday was a very emotional day, not just for the jury, but for everybody, myself included, sitting in the gallery. A lot of the images and, and videos that we've been seeing are very heartbreaking, David. So it, it is definitely taking a toll on the jury. And, and that being said, they're going home for the weekend. So how, I know they can't watch TV or listen to anything or talk about the case or anything like that. But this has got to be a going to be a long weekend for a lot of those jurors if, if this emotional toll has been taken on them so far. Right. Yeah, it, it's going to be a long weekend, but hopefully it, it, it will all come to an end early next week. Like I said, this is the state's last witness. The defense is expected to recall some of the witnesses that have already been called, but we could get into deliberations as early as Monday afternoon or on Tuesday. All right, Erica, thank you very much for that update. Hopefully that defense attorney continues to improve. We'll, we'll be back at it on Monday, so we'll look forward to that. Thank you.